Well, when I have to clean them afterwards, that is a bit. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I've done a two-hour show, for God's sake. Now what, I'm sweeping, I'm going around with the shake and vac. Come on. Um, well, I think there's the, an element with all comedy with, for comedians, where on the one hand you're sort of a hero, on the other hand you're a zero. It's got that double thing, because in a way it's a, a humiliating, exposing thing to do. Buzzard, yeah. and you're doing. Are you? And you're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never, no, not I'm again. Always, no, I'm no, always no. Late buzzard. There's a and warrant you, out. And you're doing a 90 minute set that has taken you 30 minutes because the crowd are hating it so much. And you're released from the back of the theatre through a back door so that the audience won't lynch you in front of the bar at the front. And you're running to Leighton Buzzard Railway Station yes. and then for your life. Then I think you, 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 you're then doing Then there's a the job. children on the train menacingly walking towards you. Walk, is this the one? Is this the day? Is this the time? Is this the moment that my life comes to an end at the hands of a child from Leighton Buzzard? I felt I'd earned my 60 quid that night. <laughs> Are you very disciplined about the hours that you work? Yeah. You're not a procrastinator no. then? No. No. Oh. No. I know you are. <laughs> I didn't used to be, funny enough. That was Jennifer's job, and she still does that. I used to be definitely, we can't leave the room until something's written. But I know that the kind of work we do comes out of chatting to each other and having ideas that ping out of the air, and they yes. can't ping out of the air unless you're relaxed. Yes. And, yeah. You know, and Jennifer will say, let's go and have a drink somewhere. Let's go to mm. Claridge's and drink mm. expensive mm. champagne, <laughs> see what that feels like for a little while, and see if mm. something happens. You are famous for, well, famous to me, for mm. procrastinating. Yes. Why do you do that? Um, la, la, la. <laughs> do you see how you're procrastinating now? No, I'm avoiding. That's avoidance. Yeah. Yes. I enjoy the thinking up of it, thinking of it up. Thinking, no, it up thinking of. That. I enjoy the thinking of, of up it. <laughs> I enjoy the thinking of it up, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoy yes. and I enjoy the messing about, and I enjoy when we improvise. That's the that's the best time, and I enjoy um, rehearsing, but I don't enjoy the actual physical writing of it down. It feels like writing. It feels like sort of confining it to a coffin somehow when you put it on paper. Are you Much procrastinators rather. then, you guys, oh. when it comes to the writing? Are you kidding? We mostly get together to eat, and, and then talk. sometimes at the end we write. Uh, for the last four minutes, we'll be together for five, six hours, <laughs> and we'll go through everything. Where'd you get your talk eyeshadow? About, oh, yeah. How's your son? I'll What's your mom hair. doing? What yeah. do you think of Iraq? Yeah. Have, want a little more snack? Mm -hmm. All right, Twix bar. Oh, you know what's on right now? What? Uh, the Project Runway. Project Runway. We'll just watch, what, just watch just 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And then I wanted to show you this thing in a book, oh, in a really? magazine. Oh, I forgot. I didn't Isn't that want to show good? you that I got this yeah. DVD in the mail. Oh, that's so good. Can you believe this yeah. bowl that that's, my mom said? Oh, Isn't it's that beautiful. beautiful. And you know what would be good in this bowl? What? Potato chips. Chips and salt. <laughs> <laughs> and so if for hours. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've done exactly the same. And then it's four minutes to midnight, and we go, should we look at that video? Yeah, we better. do that thing. I'm tired. Let's meet tomorrow. It's a good day. Yeah, great. tomorrow. Good work. Good work. Really I'm proud exhausted. of you. That's it. And not exaggerating. Okay. We could have the baby. The baby. Grow inside the female's stomach for, oh, about an earth year. And then have it come out a small portal in her body. <laughs> oh, You're bad. <laughs> but, but, but that's good. Yeah. I like it. You know? A small portal. Portal. That's where the pain comes in. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. <laughs> We're of a certain age, Tracy. Oh, I, I, I am actually older than you. Flashing. Quite a lot. <laughs> How old are you? You're older than I'm me. I'm 48. I'm 45. Yeah. And do you think there's a weird relationship between age and comedy? Yeah, there's a weird relationship with age and careers and women, particularly. I think it's a. Yeah, you feel like a different generation suddenly, and we thought we'd always be 27, and then you're not. And I try and look for women in their 50s that have the careers of men, you know, and Sean Connery's and the Gene Hackman's and that, you know, show me the female equivalents, and you don't want to sort of sound bitter, because they don't finance bitter. 
But no, I wish there was more respect for ageing in women and for you know, more, more things for women. I'm pretty sure that in 20 years time we'll still be watching Judy Waters be funny. Yeah. And Victoria would be funny. Yeah. And you and Jennifer be funny. Maybe. All right, Jennifer. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> there hasn't been any mainstream stand-up comedians yet. I mean, apart from myself, I'm probably the oldest one, I would think. I can't think of anybody, oh, you know. I probably am the oldest one. So I guess it's up to me, <laughs> it's up to, me to either yeah, carry on or not. I am the vanguard. Yeah. But, I, you know, I won't, but, I won't carry on unless I've got something to say. It's, it's really whether you've got something to say. Yeah, and you have got the pressure of nobody's done this before, so is it right or wrong? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a funny old, it's a funny old thing, really. Because I, I imagine that by this time, as you would have thought, that there would be, there would be a lot of girls going round playing the big theatres and having the big telly show and doing the big, the big shows or running at the West End or something. And there aren't any. No. There aren't any comparable to you and Jennifer and myself. I don't want to go to a show and, and Phyllis Diller is on stage talking about blowjobs. I'm like, hey, yo, Phyllis, no, ah, you know, you don't, you know, you don't want to walk in a room and she's, yeah, I got my legs up here, and I, you don't, you know, I think you, it gets a, a age where you go, okay, let's, let's get, talk about something else, you know, I, I, I think, talk about being old. Talk about being old. <laughs> what about comedy and age? Is it okay to get older and it's still better. be funny? Then you got another set of jokes. You know, you know, you know, you're old. They've discontinued your blood type. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I worked until I was, uh, let's say, eighty-five, and uh, happily, and I, I suppose I would have gone on, but my health uh, became a, a problem. Uh, I w wasn't able to. It, as you know, as a comic, the energy it takes for that hour, and that's the tip of the iceberg. I think there's a time where you start to hone a real craft, and you know, and it's magnificent, and you know you're doing it well, you know, and you can see everybody on the top of their game, and it's magnificent. And then it repeats, and then you can see like a little bit of anger in their eyes, and then they say the same stuff, and they're really furious, but they don't even know it yet. You and I have friends of this yes, ilk. Yeah. And then suddenly they're doing a TV commercial, and they're doing that stupid old character, you know, with that dumb old voice, except they're 80 times fatter and 400 years older, and it's... That's really me! <laughs> The only thing that's saving me is my age, because I don't care. And I come out and I say to them, I've been up, I've been down, I've been fired, I've been hired, I've been broke, I've been this. What are you going to do to me? You're not going to like me? I don't give a damn. What can you do to me? You can't. So this is what I think. I will die on stage, and in the United States, if you're on for an hour in your contract, and you're on for 31 minutes, they have to pay you. So you will never see me die till it's... 31 minutes. <laughs> I hate old people. Ugh. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. Anyone old here right now, get up, take your fucking walkers, and crawl out of here. I, yes, yes. When young comics, female comics, ask you for advice, yeah. what do you say to them? Well, what I've told you. Okay. You uh, Stay clean, be honest, and be funny. That's perfect ending. That's the perfect ending. Thank you very much for oh, that, yeah. Mr. Well, thank Lowe. you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Hopkins, Brad Pitt and Aidan Quinn star in Legends of the Fall next here on BBC One. And on BBC Two, another comedy legend talks about a lifetime of regrets. Barry Humphreys wants to turn back time. <laughs> <laughs> Was I better than Whoopi? No. no Whoopi she's good. actually made me want to cry. I'll fucking make it you was cry. A, no, it's, it's not that. Than...